Today we are invited to the Yamaha launch of R25. This bike is produced especially for Turkey and countries like Turkey, like Indonesia, Malaysia, etc. The thing is, the design starts with all the family members' lineage, which means just like the R6, this bike has this aggressive look. The lines start from here until the end, till the tail. It's going to kick somebody's ass. We are used to seeing things like cheap plastics, not very really high quality paint jobs on 20, 250 motorbikes. But this one is an exception. Yamaha paid exceptional attention to detail with this one. For example, when we look at this design of the front, we see these two headlights and in the middle, just like the original R6's ram air intake, there's an intake. So, you can tell by the look of it, this bike is special. The aim of this bike is to sell this thing to people aged from 17 to 35. So that makes a very large population to sell this bike. Very different kinds of people should fit on this bike. So they opted for these ergonomics with 778 millimeters of seat height, which is quite okay, even for the shorties. When we sit on this, the position is rather comfortable. Just look at this. I can, I can opt this racing position, or I can go for the, how to say, I'm going for the grocery shop position. So it's up to you to decide, but this bike suits both of them. This is the only Japanese bike that has everything on the instrumentation board. You can see the gear, you can see the temperature. You can also see the oil change warning. So it has everything on the instrumentation board. Perfect. At the heart of R25, there's a twin cylinder, parallel twin. It goes quite okay. In the mid-range, you have this pussycat. But when you go up the rear range, after 7,000 RPM, it goes like hell. And you have all the way to 14,000, which is quite good. In my opinion, after making some small changes like opening the end can, putting an open air, air box, it will go like hell on the tracks. Yamaha also paid attention to details, stuff like this folding mirrors, this small luggage compartment for those rainy days where you can put your rain suit inside. The only niggle we had with this bike are the tires. The tires are branded IRC, which is something like International Rubber Company. This is like a condom name, but anyway, it doesn't hold very well. And as you can see on the video, I couldn't hold myself on the track. All in all, Yamaha R25 is the new contender and also the new member of Yamaha YZF family. It's a welcome change for all the beginners and also the small capacity bike aficionados. Yamaha learned this from the racing technology. They developed this with R1 and R6. With this longer swim, swing arm, the bike has more stability on the straights and also it is quite more difficult to get it on the wheelie. On the front, there's these Kayaba front suspension. They're a bit on the soft side. As you can see, it's a bit mushy. But anyway, it's quite okay for the road. If you're not going to use it on the track, it's quite okay. The most important part of this bike, it is going to be sold with a very, very, very competitive price for a short period of time. So if you are thinking about buying a 250, then first think about this, then, then we'll have a discussion. 
Apparently, Yamaha tried to put everything they had on the technology front for this bike's engine. They used this DSL coating and also they have the pistons put on a crankshaft on an offset, about 170 degrees. So that makes it a bit on the front, it makes the bike rev a bit easier. We are getting poorer and poorer each and every day. We are making bankers a bit richer. So people are looking for small bikes, small capacity bikes. And this one is a real contender. So before buying a 250 bike, consider this one too. Yamaha R25.